it, it, it's mentoring on the pitch. You can see it all the time, talking to Vinny. Yeah, and how Vinny affects the game, it's obvious to see in a 1v1 situation. It's obvious to see when he scores a goal or when he assists a goal. But the fact that he keeps coming time and time and time again, and certainly going to keep coming when you think about the fact that you're going against Trent Alexander-Arnold, he's saying, oh, goodness, I love me some of this. Because you know there's going to be space. He affects how Liverpool had to defend because now Fabinho has to get out there because now Joe Gomez has to get out there, right? So it's not only the fact that Alexander-Arnold is not defending Vinicius properly, it's how it affects everything else defensively for Liverpool and offensively for Real Madrid because Fabinho has to get out there, Joe Gomez has to get out there, it creates spaces in the middle where now that relationship with Karim Benzema where he drops underneath and now we're combining and now we're having all this possession in the attacking half. Vinicius Jr. right now, when he focuses and concentrates on playing the game and displaying his talent, the special talent that he is, he is world class. He is at an elite level. When he concentrates and focuses on fighting with everybody else, he comes back to the crowd. But when he's all about playing, there's no stopping him. You know, we, we're talking about Vinny, we're talking, talking about Modric, we're talking about Benzema. Yes, yeah. The other day, and last week, we were talking about Messi and Mbappe. Oh, yeah. And Neymar. Yep. You talk about the difference between a, three players in Real Madrid and PSG. Three in PSG who it's... Other than Messi, probably. It's me, 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 me. This three are actually helping each other. Right. Because all the things that Vinny's doing is pulling players away, is leaving Benzema, who appreciates it, and who's leaving Modric, who appreciates it even more. So you've got three superstars, basically, and that's why Real Madrid are so good and why they can do what they did at Anfield, as opposed to three at PSG, who have a completely different outlook on the game. Uh, last words of this on you, to you, Gemma. How many have they won? 14? Is it going to be 15 for Real Madrid this season? I mean, you never know with uh, Real Madrid, uh, but I think last season nobody would point them as a, a not even a candidate at the the mm. very beginning and not, and not in the in the last 16 and as a, as one of the main favorites. But you never know with this team. I mean, they have this uh, a strong mentality, especially when they play the Champions League. When they listen to the Champions League music, it's like they they turn into. Uh, something uh, they they put the competitive level in in another stage. So you can never say Real Madrid are not a candidate uh, with uh, this mistake last season. You can never forget that they already won 14. Uh, we will see. I mean, they are in in the last uh, eight. We can say that, uh, and they have that mentality. And I think that if they have to, uh, Ancelotti will pick uh, the Champions League ahead of La Liga. They already mm. done that. Uh, for example, the last weekend in El Sadar when he uh, uh, rotates the team to, to, to be ready for that uh, game, for this game and, and they did good. So why not uh, done with this team and the Champions League? Anything can happen. I've seen that movie at least 14 times. <laughs> Thank you very much, Emma. Hey, still the second leg, Stevie. Yep. Who knows? Yeah, fun. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.